Remember this tutorial? Today I show you how to make this in full time. It's your girl Vicky Drafts here. Do you remember the last video where I showed you how to make this TikTok trend? And today I show you and explain you in detail without actually needing plugins, but I will still use them for the additional effects. I will tell you in detail how to make this nice dance velocity um, kind of edit. I will first um, show you how to make the velocity, the twixer, the dance thing, like the main part, and then a few additional effects that made it uh, that makes it look a little bit better not just a little bit but much better that you can add to yours too so with the tie let's start with this video i will first add an intro and of course first add your audio and velocity audio and your clips i will prepare them i will first make an intro i will skip that part you can watch me doing that um but i will make it fast Okay guys, I know I did my intro and this is the clip of my choice, this one here. So this is the intro, uh, we can... Oh my god. I did a sneeze. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. Just ignore that part, we just will work with that part. This is the clip I choose. Uh, if you want that clip, the link is gonna be in the description. It's just me, uh, Soyan and Ugi dancing and i really want that to do so what we will do now is we go to our audio clip that's important well, because first we will mark the beats uh, make a right click on your audio go to keyframe assistant and convert audio to keyframes then we will get this layer next step is to press u to see all the keyframes delete the left and right channel and we just need both channels then press on the slider that every keyframe gets highlighted and go to your graph editor now we should usually see oh it's because okay i forgot to turn on i had to turn off that's why it didn't work i need to do it again don't be surprised uh important is that your audio should be checked on on because mine was checked off if you know what i mean so now it should work uh, then go to your slider and now you should see all these peaks here like this so you see um, all these peaks here are the beats mm-hmm okay and um, I will put it like down like this that it doesn't here delete it from here that it doesn't get confusing later so we first do is mockering and highlighting our beats uh, that works differently for everyone like I mentioned earlier it depends on what audio you use and where the peaks are so you said on every peak where you hear the beat um, a marker you can do this by the numpad I think by pressing any number I don't have a numpad on my keyboard so I don't know how um, but um, for me, if you don't have a numpad, press shift and any, any number from 1 to 9. That means you could actually just do 9 or 10 um, beats. So if you have more than them, <laughs> you have to look how to create them. So I will market the beats now and we will see each other in a minute. And my voice is already dying. Just delete the audio amplitudes layer and we have this all left. I will delete this marker that it is not confusing for you. And all of these markers are just the beats now. So what we do is, is we go to effects and presets. And in case I just 
save my file please always do that too before after effects might gonna crash then search for twixter twixter it's a plugin add this to your clip so what we do now is here we go to the first beat and um so the to the first marker we activate the smart blend enable it set from blend to motion voided blend and then from here the image prep from non to contrast slash at ed edge enhance and then you see the input frame rate i didn't do that in the last video but uncheck this and then change this frame rate that it matches here we can go back to project matches the fps of your clip so we have 60 fps here so i will change it to 60 and then the next thing we do is is to press on the stopwatch on speed and we set it on a first marker press u to see your keyframe and this first marker uh, the first keyframe that we created with the value 100 we will set it one frame behind the beat and on every beat we're going to set the speed to a number above 100 that's important that it's going to be fast and i love to go with between 200 and 500 or 400 i will use the number 300 now and this is going to be the value for every beat now you'll basically set it on every marker that we just created and to make it faster and easier we just make sure to the, to highlight the keyframe and copy it with control and c and then paste it in with control and v on every beat like this so we will see each other in a second After this, we mark everything and press F9 or make a right click and keyframe assistant and easy ease it. And now you see there's always space between those beats uh, or those keyframes that we just pasted in. So we go here to the middle between the first and second beat here where there's a lot of space. And in the middle, we always set the value one under 100 that's important because these are going to be the slower parts um, I like to go between 20 and 50 it's up to you I go with 50 then mark this value as well and press ctrl and c paste it in between the middles here between the fast parts and beats when oh sorry and paste it in with ctrl and v like this and then here in the middle like this and then of course here in the middle parts as well even if the section is really small like this and yeah see you in a second okay, after pasting everything in the next thing we do is is to press here on the speed that every keyframe gets highlighted go to the graph editor it should look like this if not make a right click and make sure that you're in the edit value graph so the next step we do is is now if we zoom in by this little slider um we have this little Car curves here and we put them outwards like this and you do that with every curve now okay after putting every mountain outwards or curve we are still not finished we're gonna do and check those peaks and put them down like this and we do this on every peak now be careful not to put them down like this so just put them like that and I'll see you again in a second. Looks good our salt. Look at our salt. Oh my gosh, we love that. I mean, it already would be finished, but of course, we're going to add some effects now. So I will show you first how to add shakes and then I will show you how to make the zoom. So for the shakes, you need the Sapphire plugin, unfortunately. So go to effects and presets and search for S unaligned shake and put the shake on your clip. And I'm not going to change any settings first. You can change your settings like you want them to be if you don't want to Y shake put the um, values there to zero like this i'll let all the settings be like they are the only thing we're going to change is the amplitude and frequency so we're going to set the frequency to a lower number not too high not too low set it to your liking and the amplitude is going to be under one so i like it on the numbers uh 0 0.7 
around this number. So what we do now is just I press U to see the keyframes, of course, later. Uh, we first press on the stopwatch on amplitude, press U to see the keyframes that we see our amplitude keyframes. So now the keyframe that we created, we set them on all the beats. So with the value. So just press Ctrl C to copy your highlighted keyframe, in this case the amplitude, and paste it in with Ctrl and V on every beat and then we will see each other in a second again. I don't know how often I already said that. Press here on the amplitude that every keyframe gets highlighted and press F9 to easy ease them. If not, right click keyframe assistant. I'm sorry. Keyframe assistant. Where are you? Hello. There. Right click. No. Right click there. Keyframe assistant and easy ease. After that, we go to the graph editor. Now, I will, if it looks like this, make a right click and go to... Oh no, edit value graph was right. Sorry, it has to look like this because we don't have any other values. So just select the first line and you will see something like that and now make sure to put it down that it looks like a mountain like this but not if it looks like this cut it out so make sure you see the sexy bump in there and i know i have to mention that shortly but can we please appreciate them how pretty they are anyways do this with every of these lines now and yeah So this is how it looks like now and to be honest I don't think the shake fits that much or maybe I will change some settings now letting the X shake disappear like this and then just have Y shakes. I think the Y shakes just Y shakes looks better if you see it here. Yeah I think I just do the Y shakes here. So now we'll come to the most interesting part. It's not difficult, but it might look difficult to most of you, I'm pretty sure. We will now create the zoom ins and first, of course, mark all of your clips and activate motion blur. Um, make a right click on a timeline new and recreate null object layers. How many null object layer depends on how, on how many zooms and things we want to do. And I will put it like this, that it fits to the duration of our dance clip. So what we do is, is to Get the snail from your dance clip and connect it with a first null object. And the first zoom in, I want to do it here on the second beat. So what we do now is, is we go to a null object and press S and shift and P to the scan position. You can even do that with rotations. It's the same, goes the same for everything. And we go to the first beat and press on the stopwatch on both position and scale to create a keyframe and then we go to the third beat and gonna set how we want the clip to be positioned so i want to zoom in a little bit i know it might look weird now because i said i want to do in the second beat but it will make sense now in a second uh like this then mark all of your keyframes press f9 to highlight them and then go back to your second beat and now what we do is is to go to graph editor make a right click and make sure that you're in the edit speed graph and now you will edit the graph according that the peak is on the second beat like this so it's always going to be a middle graph if you know what i mean and the principle goes for the rest of those scales and positions but, uh, but i will still show you could and because it might look complicated even if it's not so like this and now it looked like this and you see it goes forward on the second even if we set it on the third keyframe and now we go and do the same we make a right click again on a timeline new and go to the null object uh, and create a null object I will cut it here with Control Shift and D that it fits to a duration. And this time what we do is not parenting the cl for a dance clip with a second null object, but parenting the first null object with the second null object. Go to the second beat, press S and Shift and P to unlock the position scale again. Press on the stopwatch on both position and scale, and those keyframes are going to be set on the second beat. And I'll move on to the fourth beat, 
and set it how you want it to be the scale and the rotation like this and then mark your keyframes press f9 again and then move on to the third beat go to the graph editor and now make the graph editor like the edit speed graph right click and edit speed graph make it look like that the mountain or peak is on the third beat third marker like this and now we have something like that and now we just continue the same with on all with all the markers i will not explain it further because it's the same for everything uh but you can watch me doing that i make it faster for you and then i will see you after that <laughs>basically finished i could have continue with the motion here because you see at the end here i stop but i thought it would be too much motion if i do it throughout the whole video so i just did it like this and i think it already looks really fire i will now add additional effects and i can show you what i'm adding so first i'm gonna add of course make a right click on the timeline new and add adjustment layer i make it fit that it just fits to the second clip and I will first go to effects and presets and search for optics compensation. I think it looks really cool. It's already part of After Effects. Add it here on adjustment layer, then enable reverse lens distortion and then check this optimal pixels. And then I change the value of the field of view because I want a little bit of warp. Wait, I got to disable that and then make it a little higher like this. Because I want it to look like distorted and I literally think it looks so good. And it looks good, yeah. This distortion filter. If the distortion is too high, we're gonna can set it still set it down like this. But I think it looks really cool. Next thing in effects presets that I love to use is, is the S underline flicker. It's part of the um Sapphire plugin, um, but I'm sure After Effects has it too. No, it doesn't have that. Okay, then I add the S online flicker on my adjustment layer that I just created as well. Like this. If not, you can do it throughout the whole video if you have an intro like that. It looks really cool. And I recommend you adding particles too. I did it on the editing without and with TikTok Trend 2, and I will do it here as well. I will add the dust particle. Here the organic dust, put it under the adjustment layer, scale it up like this and set it from normal to screen or to lighten maybe. Yeah, this looks pretty well, pretty good. I just cut it from here with Control Shift and D because I don't want it to be in the intro. So this looks like this now. Oh, it looks really good. I really love it and now I add coloring on adjustment layer so I just go to effects and presets search for looks it's part of the magic bullet plugin the red giant one and I set it to the oh, adjustment layer here sorry and go to edit and I love the presets that are already from looks in the color film stock here I think they look really cool maybe I'm gonna with, go with this one oh, I need some water they look so good but we're not finished guys i will now add something and make right click new and create a new adjustment layer so on the time where it zooms in i want it to here to be on the rotation i will cut here with Control shift and d and then where the rotation ends here cut it with Control shift and d and i put it on uh, above the under just under other adjustment layer go to effects and presets and search for white time and this makes it look a little bit glitchy. So now you will see in a second. Wait. So now it looks like this. Okay, guys. Maybe I will add other effects now. I'm not pretty sure because I'm already happy with that. But if I do it, I will not explain it further because I already did it in detail. I hope you liked it. And I would say Wiki Drafts is out. See you in the next video. Leave a like and subscribe. Then I see you want more videos, my little sugar babes.